YouTube, what's going on? And welcome to the eighth episode of the Anderlecht Career Mode. In this episode, we will be playing the Capital One Cup quarterfinals and also two games in the Barclays Premier League. Here you can see the Capital One Cup round of 16 and a bunch of poor teams and not a lot of strong ones. So getting Trombi Rovers was definitely lucky, but there were also some pretty poor teams that I could have gotten as. Here we go. I'm picking the side, and the side I'm going to be going with is Ambolo Unal. Baker, Hoiberg, Amini, Andy Najar, Henley, Nistachis, Henlin, and Kostados with Kaminsky in goal because I really didn't like how Proto was playing, so I decided to put him in there. So now we're going to start the game with Dunal, trying to jump on them after a poor last episode. So here comes Andy Najar. He's running down the wing. He gives it off to Henley. Henley keeps it in. Gives a 1-2 with Andy Najar. Right back to Adam Henley. Here he goes. He's running down the wing. He whips in a cross. Here he goes. It's a goal! Ambolo scores to make it one to nothing for Anderlecht. A great way to start this game as Ambolo heads in the cross from Adam Henley. Some great play to start the game, and this is what we need. We need to dominate this game to jumpstart our season, and we've been playing really well in the Capital One Cup, so why not keep it going? As here we go. I'm with Unal. Unal makes a Ronaldo trap. He gets around. He shoots. It gets blocked, and then eventually cleared only to Henley. Henley with the ball. He does a move. He beats another guy, and looks like he gets fouled. Yes, he does get fouled. He's not on the free kick. I have Baker take the free kick. He has to play. I'll give him a shot. Oh, but it gets deflected by the wall and out for a corner. So Amini, he whips in the corner, a player I really like, Amini. But it gets head away, but only out to Andy Najar. Najar makes a move. Does he get another free kick? No. Amini stays with it. He's working. He gives it back to Adam Henley. Henley will put in another cross, but it's cleared away. So not two goals from crosses from Henley, but who now? He plays through Mbolo. Mbolo's running. He looks to go around the keeper, but he doesn't run out. And oh, we kind of just wasted that chance to get a brace. But now we get another free kick. I was just like, you know what? I'll give it to Amini. And ooh, pretty close, but just not there. And now we get another free kick. Here we go. We pass it short outside to Andy Najar. Andy Najar makes a move inside. Adam Henley, he'll take the shot. And it's saved and caught by their goalkeeper. And that will bring us into the end of the first half we really dominated this first half five shots on target eight shots and I believe 58 percent possession so really a good first half and we've been showing that we're the better team but now here they go and we get steal with who now who now he's really pushing it probably should have passed it there as the defender committed to him so that was kind of a wasted chance but Baker he's on the ball he makes one move past that guy. Oh, no, and he plays a beautiful through ball to Mbolo. Mbolo's running, goes around the keeper, shoots. He scores. Mbolo goal, as I'm going to call him, as he scores a brace for Anderlecht. A stunning goal from him as he just runs right around the keeper. And it's really good that we're getting this confidence back as we really played very poor last episode as Mbolo feeds Baker for the shot. But gets saved, and yeah, this was a really good game for us. As Ro Try Me Rovers finally has their first shot of the game, and it's just wide. So this was a fantastic result for us. 90th minute, we try to get a goal, but that doesn't happen. A 2-0 win was really just what we needed against a much poorer opposition, and we advanced to the quarterfinals of the Capital One Cup. So that's really good. And you see, we dominated this game. 12 shots and eight on target and now you can see all the teams that advance so i wonder who we're going to be playing in the next round in the quarterfinals so now we go in and lewis baker says thanks for the chance and he got an assist so he played pretty well and now we see who we play and it's Fulham. Wow, we get another break in the Capital One Cup. Should be an easy game. Not not really easy, but it should be easier than some of the other opponents that we got. So another news that we have a match rescheduled, and we got 6,000. So Fulham was definitely luckier than some of the other opponents we could have got. So now we're going to go into our game against Leicester City. I believe we do almost a full strength size side besides two changes. Mbolo is on for Poulsen and Loftus Cheek is coming in for Rabia as I feel like Rabia just hasn't really done it and Loftus Cheek um he deserved a game after not playing in the Capital One Cup. So now here we go against Leicester as their player James goes on the ball. He puts out a pass to Martez. Martez back to James. 
James. Back to Mahrez, who whips in just a weak cross. I don't know what that was. So now we have a goal kick, and Proto, he's going to kick it out. Oh, no. It's about to Nougat. Nougat, he does a move. He sits there. He shoots. He scores. And Nougat puts in the goal to give Leicester City the 1-0 lead. As That was really frustrating. Just a simple mental mistake by me and Proto. So just disappointing. But now we're on the ball with Mbolo. Mbolo, he's making a run. He beats one guy. He goes back around. He shoots. It gets saved, but it falls to Mitrovic, and what in the world was that? A terrible miss, but now Tillmans is on the ball. He's running. He's running. He's still going. He's down the wing. He's going to cut back inside to the middle, and now it looks like he's going to go to the other wing, which he does. He stops, does a fake shot, beats one guy, goes inside another, shoots, it's deflected, and it's in the back of the net. Yuri Thielman scores a kind of fluky goal as it was deflected by his guy, kind of similar to the Wayne Rooney goal last episode. But yeah, just a good goal as that will lead us into halftime. So kind of a lucky goal for us after we made a mistake. So 1-1, one, one, I felt like it was a pretty fair result at halftime. So... You can see the stats, and no, no, you actually can't. So now here comes Lester. They're going, and Tyler, Taylor Fletcher scores a goal on our goalkeeper. As I mean, our goalie didn't even move, and it was a very good finish. But I still really didn't like the effort from my goalie, and my defense just got caught out. I mean, it was a good goal from Lester City, but with my goalkeeper not moving, not much we can do. But now we're in the 70th minute, as you have Clutchton, he's outside to Defor. Defor with a shot, and it gets saved. So we've definitely been turning on the pressure now. His Clutchton, he hits another shot, another save from Schmeichel, the son of a legend in this game, Peter Schmeichel. Now off to Sheik. He plays a through ball in, and it just doesn't get there. But no, Mitrovic with the steal. He stops. He goes for the shot, and it gets to blocked and just goes out as they clear it. But now, here they get the ball. Oh, they miss it. And Bamba passes it to Mbolo. Mbolo Mitrovic has to score. No, he doesn't. He shoots it right at Schmeichel and it's a huge miss. And the game is over as we drop three points against Leicester City. It was a pretty even game. We had more shots on target. They only had three and scored two. So very disappointing. And after another disappointing result with my starters and with my backups getting the job done, I decide to go with the full backup side. Mbolo, Unal, Baker, Luca, Amini, Andy Najar, the Greek right back playing left back, Halen, Nushik, Henley, and the goalkeeper is Kaminsky. So I just was frustrated with how the Stars were playing, so I decided to give the backups another game as they've really been playing well. So... I feel like hopefully this would be the change of pace and maybe I should be playing the backups more often as they've been getting the right results. But Unal with the steal early, he tries to make a move but just gets intercepted. Now Teote to De Jong. De Jong, he whips it outside as Jonas whips it across in the middle. Ben Arfa with the header but it's just wide. So here we go. The pass to Luca in the 45th minute. It's intercepted by Jonas to Cisse. Back to Jonas. Jonas back to Jibriel Cisse. Oh no, it's, it's just a poor attempt and that was Pappas Cisse, not Jibriel. My bad is, here we go as we clear it for halftime. Not much happened in the first half, but yeah, really disappointing. And I had to get Luke off. He was just really disappointed, disappointing this game and had a yellow card. I decided to put in Rabiot as he did not feature in the last game. So Rabiot comes into this game, and we will see if he can provide a spark for the backups. Now Ben Arfa, he's on the ball. He gets it up to Papa Cisse. Ben Arfa, through ball to Teote. He scores! Oh, no. It looks like he's off sides. Very disappointing for the Newcastle man as that would have given them the lead. But now Baker, he's on the ball. He plays a through ball to Inisuno. Inisuno just gets outpaced by Devon Santon and Cruel clears. But now here we go. It's up to Henley. Henley, 1-2 with Rabiot. He goes through. He rips it across. We've seen this before. Embo goal! Embo goal scores another one. Just like the first goal to start this episode. It's a cross from Adam Henley into Embo goal. And he scores to give us the one nothing lead as these backups have been playing so well. Now we're on another attack with Baker. Back to Mbolgo. Mbolgo, could we see this again? He almost is him. He's going. Oh, but he just gets intercepted. As that was would have been similar to the first one. Amini gets the ball. And that's the game. The backups win against Newcastle. one to nothing. A fantastic result for the backups. Maybe they're just going to start our season and keep it going well. 
a great 1-0 win, even though we had no shots, apparently. I don't know about that, but that will wrap it up for this episode. In the next episode, we face Chelsea.